What is going on YouTube? Modsville USA back with another video and today marks the beginning of an adventure. We are going to be doing a long series and I'm going to be making a playlist um, calling it the RGH tutorials and, um, and yeah this is pretty much for any of you out there who just got your hands on an RGH or JTAG'd Xbox 360 with nothing on it and you want to learn the ins and outs a nice thorough breakdown of all the things you can do with one of these so let's start it off with uh, number one now I just made a new website shameless plug mozvilleusa.com you might see the watermark at the bottom right hand corner so if you're looking for a send in service you want to send your 360 in get it modded or you want to purchase one that's already modded get it with LEDs you know for the ring of light internal LED strips the whole works check out modsvilleusa.com I'm also going to be doing uh, PS3's uh, Nintendo Switch 3DS the, the 9's um, so yeah hit it up if that interests you but anyway let's get into the uh, the old meat and potatoes here go down into the description and download the zip file and that will contain all the files you need to get started you're also going to need a fat32 flash drive and I would recommend an internal hard drive for your Xbox 360 and yeah let's get into it so you got the, the zip file this will be the contents so you're gonna to want to grab that copy it to your USB drive now we're gonna make sure that our dri USB drive is FAT32 so you right click USB drive go to properties as you can see mine is FAT32 if yours is not go ahead right click it hit format and if yours is too large I believe over 64 gigs or over 32 gigs um, you're going to need to format it using some form of software so just go ahead and type in Google bat 32 format and we're looking for this one right here ridge crop you go ahead and click this image I've already got nine of these damn downloads super small file so open it up make sure you choose the right drive and then go ahead and click start just double check this one triple check it if you choose another drive you're gonna wipe out one of your hard drives and that will be no fun so make sure it's the right one and then you're good to go um, so yeah we've copied our files to our flash drive we are going to unplug it from the computer plug it into the Xbox 360 make sure you don't have a network cable or you're not hooked up to the internet yet because you will get instantly banned um, if you go on without having set this up first so make sure your 360 is off not hooked up to the internet plug the flash drive in turn it on I'm gonna do that right now right 360 just booted let me fix the visuals here there we go it's looking looking better looking better there all right and once your 360 boots we are gonna go ahead and go to my games since the flash drive is plugged in with the appropriate files we will have XEX menu, Freestyle Dash, and Aurora. The three different custom dashboards to choose from. Aurora is the most current one, which gets updates quite frequently. So we're going to stick with that. Alright, so we've booted up Aurora. Now, if you have an internal hard drive I would recommend transferring everything from your flash drive to your internal drive so in order to do that from the main screen in Aurora we're gonna hit back then we're gonna hit file manager 
go down to USB zero and hit X over apps, X over content, X over FSD two. We're going to ignore the system volume information. So we've got the, these three highlighted, click left on the D pad, go down to copy, hit a, and you're going to hit RB go down to HDD one and in here oh, I already have this I'm just gonna get rid of this real quick just for the sake of being thorough I'm gonna get rid of everything on my hard drive alright now paste yes All right, it says an error. Don't mind that. So now that we've got everything pasted to our internal hard drive, we're going to go back to the main menu. Went ahead and unplugged my flash drive. Now we're hitting back. We're going to go to file manager. HDD1 apps dash launch default xex once you boot it up for the first time it'll ask you if you want to install it go ahead and hit a all right so once dash launch installs that was strange how it crashed um i'm back here everything is fine so for default, I like to go pass, and then for default, go ahead and go to HDD, apps, Aurora, Aurora.xex, beautiful, beautiful, all right, and then to get back into the main dashboard, in case we want to wait to do that when the console is booting up, we're going to go to this buttx. We're going to go to flash dash dot xex. So now if we were booting the console and we want to go to the stock dashboard, all we got to do is hold X while the console is booting and it will take us there. It'll overwrite the default being Aurora. Now before you even consider hooking up an ethernet cable, you're going to want to go to this network tab. Make sure live block and live strong are enabled. And plugins we'll leave that as is for now and that's where we'll be putting our cell servers and mod menus in future videos um, but I want to take it in baby steps here we'll get to that later on all right so once you got this all set up I want Aurora to be the main dash so all looks good just hit RB and go down to HDD hit X on that and then hit a nice now keep in mind if you end up booting it with a USB drive plugged into the console the launch.ini settings from the USB drive will overwrite the ones that are saved to your internal hard drive or your flash the USB will always take priority so if you were to mess up the files or your launch.ini on your hard drive, you need to get past that. You just plug a USB drive into it, boot it up, and you are set. All right, so now when we hit B, it should take us back to Aurora. Yes, it does. Beautiful. So now that we have our launch INI file setup live block is on and go ahead and hook up my ethernet cable and then once we do that I am going to see if I got an IP address very nice so I'm gonna hit start content manage paths change go HDD1 hit Y on apps click save then add change HDD1 FSD2 alright now it's going to grab artwork for all of these 
This is not correct. This is not Final Fantasy. Uh, I don't know why it thinks this is a PS1 emulator. Freestyle 3. Download cover. Cool. Flash 360. That's not going to come up with anything. And to break it down how I did that, it was just Y. Scroll down. The second one, the bottom one. Scroll left. Download cover. I'll show you the custom covers for all of them. Cool. So, next, we're going to back up our NAN just in case you haven't already done that. Um, actually, you know what? No, no, we're not going to do that. We're going to save that for another video. So, we've got our XEX menu, got dash launch set up. So these are the basics. So, in the next video, I'm going to be showing you how to make sure your console is completely up to date as well as installing the avatar update to your console without it uh, you will not be able to get online yet so you will need to do that before we get into the f video after that which is installing a stealth menu but we want to make sure we're up to date so we're going to cover all of our bases. So I hope you liked the video. Leave a like if you liked it. And uh, subscribe if you're new here. There's going to be a whole lot of these coming your way in the next couple of days. So thanks for watching. Modsville USA signing out.